Hello there, everyone. Oh, look at that. What am I playing? Yeah. I'm doing a Let's Play of Dead Rising 2 Code Zero. If you do not know what this game is, stop watching now, because originally I wanted to do, you know, the Defressed Rising, but then I figured it out it's going to take way too long. And I wanted to kind of do it before Dead Rising 2 came out, so... Screw Dead Rising 1, I'm just going to start Dead Rising 2, Code Zero. Which is a prologue, which is, it's based two years after Dead Rising 1, like three years before Dead Rising 2. Um, just going to restart the story then. Uh, at least that's what Game Facts said on the description, so... Yeah, Dead Rising 2, this game is freaking awesome. Well worth five bucks. People, you have a debit card? Go to Walmart, buy a points card, and buy this game. It is just excellent. For five bucks, even. That's just, I cannot stress that enough. Five bucks! Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Damn the Chinese. <gasps> Not Las Vegas! No, where are all the old couples gonna go to waste some money? Oh wait, no, they go to Jackpot, don't they? My grandparents go to Jackpot. They lose so much money. Well, apparently we've been running over zombies, that's just nice. And just like the original game, you know, you can have wear like alternate outfits. And that's what I'm wearing right now. I'm not wearing the original outfit. I should have just started over, but I don't feel like it. Yes, it's bloody. Clean your car, man. <laughs> I have a cowboy hat on. Yeah, let's get some gas, you know, that works. Make sure no one's around. Look, 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 look. Now, see, if that was modern day gas stations, then you would have to pay money before that even turns on, if I remember, if I know correctly. Yep, military's blowing shit up. That's the answer to everything, isn't it? Zombie outbreak, blow the thing up, do not let it be known. Just like 9 11. Surprisingly, this is actually being recorded on 9 11. Pretty funny there, sis. Oh, just a baby. Oh, the baby got bit. They got to make some exhaust new track, if I'm not correct. Baby got bit and. Actually, that sounds like the same song for fucking Twilight. And no, Daddy, no! Nobody likes shots, honey. But it's very important. I mean, and look at—I know, seriously, look at her eyes. She looks like fucking Chucky. Capcom did not know how to make very small child sprites. Because if you don't get them, you're gonna die. A whole twelve hours. Maybe we'll run out. Sorry, sweetie. I know the dad's just like, oh god, if I run out, I'll have to pop my own daughter in the head. Hello? No, they're dead. Uh oh. Katie, stay right here. Stay right there. The zombies will get you. I 
I see smoke. That can't be good. My first thought when I saw that image, I'm like, oh god damn it, they made the zombies run in this game. Hey! That's my truck! But nope, it's just some guy that just carjacked him. Apparently not driving very fast. That language will get you nowhere, Chuck Ewing. Oh yeah, that was in the car. Oh, that's kind of bad, isn't it? I love how, you know, there's none of them anywhere, but then as soon as this car gets jacked, you know, there's about 4,000 of them. Oh, uh, what can I use? Go refrigerator, or snack machine. Yay. We, Doritos have saved our life once again. They can't get you. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to be wearing. Just some little on t-shirt. God, how long is this cutscene gonna be? Goddamn. Katie. Daddy loves you so much. Oh, it's a Kodak moment. But where are you going? I have to go get some more Zombrex and figure out how to get us out of here. I see a sledgehammer. Good times. But no, Daddy, I don't even like Zombrex. I know, honey. But it's very important you need another one before bedtime. You know, you, you really gotta feel for Chuck. I mean, I his daughter's turning into a zombie. Yet he's trying to stay calm and, so like, not even let her know that that's happening to her. It's just... Fuck. He's a good man. Good man, Chuck. Good man. So as a player, you feel more determined to help him achieve this goal. Yeah, drinking too much will make Chuck, uh, Chuck sick. So as you can see, I'm already level 5 and maxed out, but I don't care. Alright, first thing you want to do, get the box of nails and the baseball bat. Put them right there. And let the fun be had. And epic music. And very loud duct tape. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Cool. Now we here we got a spiked bat. And why do we have the spiked bat? Because it is pro. So you want to take this power drill and I jump on that. Don't want that. So where is the thing I want? No, I don't want a saw blade. Go in here. Go in there. That's what I want. A bucket. So you get the bucket. And you get the drill. Makes for good times. So I'm just gonna get to go uh, combine these real quick. And you don't need to see that more than once. And now we have the power drill helmet. So we're gonna grab some whiskey. Because... You know, you need to drink a lot in this game. And the sledgehammer. And that's basically what you're going to want to grab from the starting point here. Uh, safe spot right in here. Because, you know, you have to save in the bathroom. It's just like the first game. And, uh, yeah. I got nothing too much to say here yet. So we're going to want to go through the store. You can take a tire if you want to. I don't care. I'm going to take a tire with me. Because, bro, I'm going to jump on this box. And another saw blade. Sure, I'll take the saw blade. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. And go through the door. Oh, yes. Stock up on supplies. Look at how many there are now. It's something you're going to want to do. Eating food will regain health, so it's good to keep some on chunk on all the time. Yet the mo the things that restore the most are f 
drinks. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Orange juice, beer, whiskey. They give you the most health. As far as I know. So. Here we have the tire, and we got the map, and... Let's just smack this bitch. Okay. There we go. There we go, smack the bitch. So basically, first thing you want to do here... Is clear out and bash their fucking heads in. But, uh... No, what we really want to do is... Well, we got time. We're going to want to get to the hunting shack. Why? Because it has the best weapons in the game. And it'll allow us to save some people later on. So, it's actually kind of tricky to get there, to be honest with you. Because you gotta, um, the, the front door is locked. So what you're going to want to do, jump up here, jump up here. Here, I think. What was that newspaper? Yeah, screw the newspaper. Nobody likes them, anyways. Okay, so you want to jump from right here to right over here. It's easy. Oh, I'm gone. First gun of the game. Hell yes. But do you, you don't you don't really need to waste money or ammo on the zombies unless you're going for the thousand kill. What was that? Football. Sure. Oh. Alright. Go along! Damn it! I fell. That was nice. And now I gotta run all the way back, you sons of a bitch. Oh, come on. Where's the damn alley? Another sledgehammer. Sure, I'll take that. I didn't even know that one was there. See what happens when you play this game more than once? Okay, well, you can also just climb up here for a little bit quicker route. And how are you doing? Actually, while I'm in here, I'm going to try and find the uh, certain thing. Uh, walk up right here, you get the cowboy hat that I'm wearing, just so you know. Pretty informative, if you want to be styling. Die! Thank you. Very much. Fly out the window. Okay, don't fly out the window. But yeah, you do need to get this. Is it even here right now? Oh, another handgun, sure, why not? Um, apparently it's not, so we're gonna need to come back. So this was a complete waste of time. <sighs> but we are gonna need to come back to this spot in a later part. But yeah, but don't worry, you have plenty of time to be able to do this. And it is, it is required if you're going for 100%. And you do climb up here. And then it says Uncle Bill's department store is down there and Bob's down here because it is Bob's hunting shack. Oh, yes. It has swords. It has bows and arrows. It has this fancy hunting jersey that I'm wearing. And it's got Bowie knives. Oh, yes. So, that's all I'm going to do. Just, I just open that up. I'm gonna bash this head in. There we go. And that's gonna be it for this first part, though. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.